Are you serious? Are you serious, guys? Getting a little fresh air. Get a cup of coffee, everybody. Wow! Are you serious? Did you see? Uh, coffee's good this morning. Remember that movie Transcendence with Johnny Depp and how they were downloading him into the computer before he died because he was sick? Well, it's become now a reality. Microsoft has come up with a brand new patent and a new, a brand new software to create, to revive dead people as an AI chat bot. And this is actually going to become uh, an actual program and possibility. Let me just say quickly, put a shout out real fast to virtualshield.com, www.virtualshield.com forward slash deals, forward slash active, forward slash Begley. It's time to protect the fam from the spam. Let let this VPN, let virtualshield.com forward slash deals, forward slash active, forward slash Begley. Let them take care and scramble your IP address and make sure you're safe in this crazy world of computers and downloading and everything else. As I said, it's getting nuts. That's virtualshield.com forward slash deals, forward slash active for slash Begley. Okay, this is incredible. New Microsoft patent is aimed to revive dead people as an AI chat bot. Digital Tech Microsoft has been granted a patent that aims to revive the deceased as a artificial intelligence chat bot. The concept sounds like it was ripped straight from a science fiction story largely in part because of an episode even recently by Netflix called Black Mirror had an episode called Be Right Back, okay? It's in season two of their uh, series and episode one. I've not seen this. I've never even heard of this uh, series. The Amazon Prime video show Upload are based around this exact premise of uploading digital information about a person in order to continue communicating with them post-mortem. Obstentially, the larger someone's carbon footprint is, the more accurately their personality will be portrayed by an artificial intelligence. So in other words, the more info they have about you, for instance, if you have a lot of Facebook friends and a lot of Facebook um, communication or a lot of Twitter tweets or Instagram or in my case thousands, 15,000 YouTube videos with all my different expressions and everything. Can you imagine what they would do? Um, and all your information. So what would happen is uh, after you die, the AI technology grabs all this information, everything about you, where you go to church, what do you like to say, what is your favorite sporting teams, who's all your family members, who's your friends, creates for you and but it also puts in it an AI technology that thinks for you based on your personal habits and communications and your voice fluctuations and your and the AI starts acting like you thinking like you and portraying you images voice data social media posts electronic messages your text message all sorts of of information are factored in re recreating this digital alternative afterlife rendering of the deceased. And Microsoft has even be begun to plot multi-dimensional 2D, 3D models of those who are no longer among the living. So in other words, there can be video with this as well. Communication between living people and these new digital variants is expected to be activated through both voice and chat command services. The patent states that the, uh, that the specific person who the chat bot represents may correspond to the past or even talk up to you about the present things going on now. This is an AI technology such as a friend, a relative, an acquaintance, a celebrity, a financial, excuse me, a fictional character a historical figure, a random entity, the specific person may also correspond to oneself, if you want that. And would you ever consider using technology such as this or something like this, or would you rather let it remain 
a science fiction option. Guys, this will be gigantic. I'm just going to tell you right now, people's infatuation with the afterlife, people's, in, in, in people's longing to continue to communicate with loved ones, uh, will this will become gigantic and will also, I believe, reroute people's emotions. It will, it will, it will prolong the grieving process. It, it could really take people into some places they should not go. Uh, this is uh, really going to be weird. Um, this is really going to be weird. Now, even in the Bible, we're told not to communicate with the dead. This is one thing you're never to do. Uh, certainly, you cannot be calling back the spirits of the dead or, or trying to communicate with the dead. And people have done this for years uh, through seances, through tarot cards, through um, different types of readings. Uh, you know, they've, they've, and they've went into the, you know, remember John Edwards with the... Uh, the dark he would always talk to you about what his dead your dead relative was saying to you and all that in the bible you know even the witch witch of endor did this for the king saul calling back the prophets the spirit of the prophet of, of samuel god forbids this okay but anyway this isn't that because you're not calling back the person from the dead you're talking to an artificial intelligence that mimics what you were like Still, I think it's going to mess with the psyche and the soul of the human existence. Something we got to watch, okay? God bless all of you. I love you guys. Don't miss today's live broadcast, 12 noon Eastern. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get a personal relationship with Jesus Christ while you're still alive.